What do you got here? I think we cracked it. Ah, I can't even cut it with my knife. Oh gosh, I'm just ruining my knife. Okay, I'm gonna have to take that to the nice shop here. Oh, oh. <laughs> I probably shouldn't start the video off with me doing lots of ums and ahs. I love a crispy roast pork. This recipe is the best and it gives results every single time. So let's get to it. I've got my pork belly and it's a really good quality pork. So I got it from the local butchers. It's, I got a, I've opted for a bone, boneless version, but you can have bone in. There's a couple of hairs still on the pork, so I'm gonna clear those away. So I've got my trusty, I said trusty. Not so trusty. There we go. <laughs> Blooper. And just blow torch this hairs. The trick is to keep the blow torch moving, because you don't want to burn the skin. And then just scrape away that hair. And that is simply removed any of those little like, spare hairs. See how clean that is? Okay, perfect. Next up is my favorite part of them all, the most stress relieving part of doing crispy roast pork, the piercer skin. You can get these new fancy ones that I've seen all over Amazon, the tenderizers, but I think there's nothing wrong with the old trusty, old fashioned style, maybe a guy in more fashion. But you don't want the needles to be too close together. This is great to do after a long, hard day. When you're frustrated with things, Fantastic. Now, I'm gonna season the meat. Take your knife. Now, you don't wanna cut the meat. So you just wanna score it. You don't wanna cut the meat all the way down to the skin, because otherwise it'll just break apart. And if you've got a lot of extra fat, you can just trim this all off. Trim a little bit of that off. This is optional. You can, you don't have to do this, but I wanna get as much flavor into this meat as possible. I'm gonna save this fat and trim. I'm gonna render that down for some noodles. And I'm gonna use my Frosty five spice blend. I'm gonna mix that with a bit of sugar and salt. It's always good to give your meat a good old rub. <laughs> right, flip it over. Right, let's get this ready to put into the fridge. Take a piece of foil, like so. Put that on top, like that and fold the edges like you're wrapping a parcel or present. Think about it, crispy roast pork is definitely a present. And we're making what they call a boat. So lift up the edges. And what this is going to do is it's gonna protect that meat, keep it really nice and moist and tender, but allowing that skin to crisp up nicely under that hot heat. It's not complex. You just want to fold it up with enough edge. The skin is exposed that the meat is covered. Okay, when you're trimming the pork belly, just make sure that it fits in the air fryer. So it's the perfect size to fit into our air fryer. So we've prepped the skin, we've pierced the skin, we season the meat, and it's ready to go into the air fryer. We're just going to put this into the fridge, uncovered, at least overnight, preferably and that's gonna help dry out that skin even further. So I'll level with you. I haven't been using an air fryer for long. I've only got the, this air fryer for the past couple of months and been testing with it. And we've done the past few videos on it. And I, I have to say, like, I'm just truly impressed by this technology and how versatile they are. Look, I mean, I could put this crispy pork belly in the oven behind me, which will do it perfectly fine. But it just takes so long to heat up, to power and the cost of it. Whereas an air fryer, I think the results of it are just so efficient and rewarding. And so I definitely think these machines are worth the investment. This is not an advert, but take it from me, these are really fun to use. So the pork has been in the fridge and you can see this is really nice and dry. This is gonna be perfect for crisping. 
because moisture is your villain here. So the drier the skin is, the better it's going to be. Right, so next up, we're going to make a salt layer. I'm gonna brush this with some white vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar, rice vinegar, white vinegar. Just don't use malt. You don't wanna use the wrong flavor. I brush that on there. Some people make a paste with the salt and the vinegar, but I found this way just less messy. So a nice thick layer of salt. And again, this salt, when it bakes, it's gonna draw out more of that moisture plus season the skin even more. So because it's in that little foil boat, it's going to protect that meat from being too salty as well. You can use table salt as well. Right. Perfect. I'm just gonna say here, real sorry for the noise next door, if you can hear it in the background. Our lovely neighbors have decided to renovate today, so of all days. So we are, yeah, hit the subscribe button, give us a like and follow and share, because the more subscribers we have, maybe we could finally afford a studio. But yeah, um, this has got the salt crust on there. That drilling is going through my head. All right, we've got the salt crust on here, so it's gonna go into our air fryer. I'm gonna set it on bake for 210, and that's gonna go for 20 minutes. There. <laughs> there you go. Right, while the pork is in baking in the air fryer, I'm going to prepare the side salad to go with it. Now, I'm gonna prepare a spring onion salad. Bear with me, This it's more exciting than it sounds. This gives me Korean barbecue vibes. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure I'm gonna pound this really bad. It's pajoy, which means seasoned spring onion. So we're gonna slice these up. You can use a spring onion. You can get lots of contraptions these days where you can shred the spring onion, but I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way with my knife. So cut them up into little segments like this. And this is just where you get to show off all your knife skills. I shred that really nicely and fine. All right, so we sliced up all the spring onion. I'm gonna put it into some ice water for two purposes. It's going to really crispen up that spring onion, but also wash it. I'm gonna leave that soaking in that water, ice water for about 20 minutes. And then let's make the dressing next. So can I get a little bit of sugar, please, sugar? I'm gonna mince up one garlic clove. I'm gonna mince this garlic clove up quite finely. Little trick is use the side of the knife to squash it down to mince it even further. A little salt and that's gonna help crush that garlic to a nice fine paste. This, so the pork belly is been baking for 20 minutes on a high temperature. Oh, that looks amazing. Come here. You can see how it's starting to come away now. And that salt, yeah, I can just simply take it off. So, chef hands, I'm gonna take that out. And what you're gonna want to get is my brush and my vinegar. I'm actually just going to remove this salty layer. Just brush it all away. take it all out of here. So I don't want that salt, otherwise that meat's gonna be really, 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 really salty. All right, and I'm just gonna brush that skin again with some more vinegar. Just removing any of that extra salt. Perfect, now that is gonna go and grill for about 10 minutes. So we're gonna grill it on the highest temperature. So 20 minutes on bake and then 10 minutes on grill. We've got the spring onion and the dressing made, but we're not gonna mix them together now because you want to do it just before we're about to serve it because otherwise you're gonna end up with a limp salad. No one's gonna find that impressive. Let's check on the pork. You wanna come in and see the money shot? Look at that. Let's bring this out. I'm gonna carefully bring it out because there'll probably be a bit of juice in the bottom. That AMSR 
AM SR? That's what you've been waiting for. Woo. Now this is the bit that everyone bloody forgets. Let the pork rest. It's so important that you let the meat rest because otherwise when you cut it, all those juices are going to just leave the meat. You want, the, you want that meat to be nice and moist, but you want that skin to be nice and crisp. Just let it rest for 20 minutes. So while that's doing that, I'm going to strain off my spring onion salad. I'm going to pour it with this dressing because we're about to serve it. I'm so excited for this. It smells so good. I mean, I made a lot of salad here compared to the amount of pork I've got, but I'm sure the team are hungry. Okay, perfect. I mean, look at this pork. We did this 20 minutes on the bake and then 10, 10 to 15 minutes with a grill. So if I did this in a normal conventional oven, that would have taken hours. Um, but, but the air fryer, it heats up so quickly and it has that lovely airflow when it um, grills and bakes. It's just cooked this so nicely and evenly. Look how crispy that skin is and how evenly crispy it is. Nice. Oh, it's dripping with flavour there. Sorry, children. Ooh, that's pretty naughty. So the outside part, is that going to be a little bit on the saltier side? Because obviously it's, that was close as well the salt was for the crust. But I'm super happy and pleased with that result. And I tell you, I've probably done this technique maybe about 20 times doing for the, RN, uh, the research and development for this. And it's come out perfect every single time. So the main takeaways is use good quality pork. Pierce it properly and air, let it air dry in the fridge overnight, preferably two nights even better. And then grab an air fryer, bake it for 20 minutes, grill for 10, and it'll come out like this. So I'm gonna serve this now with some of the spring onion salad. Oh. I'm really fortunate, I've managed to get my hands on some finger limes. Now, if you've not come across them, it's basically like lime caviar. Now that is going to give little pops of lime flavor and juice in your mouth. It's just gonna pop in your mouth and be an explosion of flavor. So I'm gonna squeeze that and serve that just on the pork there. That's gonna give a really nice acidity. These aren't native to the UK, so they are quite expensive. And like I say, I'm very fortunate I managed to get my hands on them. Right, a little bit of that salad, and there we have it. Now, I would definitely serve this with some chili garlic sauce or crispy chili oil. But I've had, for now, I'm just gonna serve it like that. And I am super happy with the result of that. Let's get to see what that crunch is like. Definitely gonna give a taste test. So Vince, what do you think? Amazing. <laughs> Vince is actually going to be painting my portrait, so yeah, definitely had to give him some of the some of the goods to try. All right, ready? Dripping down my ham. I don't know if you can hear that on the microphone, but that is the crispiest, tastiest bit of pork I've had in a while. And that was less than an hour cooking time. You've got to try this at home. So we have it, another spectacular win for the air fryer. I definitely recommend you give this recipe a go. The crispy roast pork recipe will be found on my website, on my blog. And if you want to get the, rest, the full recipe for this entire dish, that'll be on the e-store. So have a click on the links in below and give it a go. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next week.